And tonight's interview is with John, a.k.a. Fish Head Salad from YouTube. John, uh, I have a few general questions I'm going to ask you. Sure. So, and uh, then uh, I'm going to turn it over to my co-host. Were you or are you religious, and how did you come to your non-belief? Um, I was always kind of like one of those wishy-washy guys. I grew up in a um, household that uh, it, it is, there's so many levels to this question, and I, I, I think I basically, um, through my videos, I, hopefully I, I just kind of express um, what I want to say, but... Um, long story short, when I was young, um, I was raised in a, in a basically a Christian home, I guess. Uh, my stepfather was Jewish, but he was an atheist. Mm -hmm. My mother was a Christian, and her grand or my grandmother uh, was a, a hardcore fundy. But at the same time, um, she was never diagnosed, but I think she was schizophrenic. Oh, um, uh, her, her 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 whole first thing was uh, with her um, thinking people like doctors and lawyers were in this big conspiracy against her. She had a, she had a car accident, long story short, and she, she just thought these people had it against her and her, um, um, uh, when she found Jesus, basically, suddenly she had, she was an alcoholic too. So it's like she had like this bottle of wine underneath her kitchen cabinet which suddenly turned into water it was like the reverse of the bible basically <laughs> um wow this wine and, and, turned to water it's a yeah, miracle yeah, yeah, it's that's a confirmed he, miracle because jesus didn't want me to drink anymore so he was <laughs> rescuing me from my alcoholism you know like, uh, and and and, <laughs> and she she basically she at when before be, before she became a Christian, she basically was saying, um, you know, I, I got this guy trying to break into my house. This little uh, paper boy, ba literally like a thirteen year old boy, was breaking into her house. Um, really? Because he's in in the conspiracy with the doctors and the lawyers. But then when she <laughs> became a Christian, suddenly it wasn't a, a little thirteen year old boy anymore. It was like a, a little literally demons. Demons. demons were coming through her walls, you know, and like, oh, okay, my. you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but <laughs> at, at the same time, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm dealing with, with my mother who's dealing with her mother, and so, you know, uh, so I'm, I'm trying to sort that out, and my mother's been married a couple times, mm -hmm. and um, um, when all the shit was going down. She married a, a Catholic guy who ended up working for Pat Robertson. And then this whole thing just kind of, um, I, I can't explain this. Like the cars just kept flying one by one by one by one you mm -hmm. know, down in this pattern. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? This is just bullshit. Mm. And, um, so that led um, to that led you led you to non-belief or well I wasn't really a believer to begin with I mean okay. I, I I just used to question like why the fuck do people believe this shit you know kind of thing mm -hmm. and then of course I take it upon myself to actually open the Bible which a lot of Christians don't do you know Very true. And, and actually read it <laughs> you know like let me start with Genesis and let me just go all the way through it and let me do it again mm -hmm. you know kind of thing and and that's kind of um what kind of brought me out of the, um, uh, you know, the, the, uh, I'm so bad with words, but the, the, the collapse of my belief or the, or, or the beginning of my non-belief or what, you know, whatever it is, it just is what it is. And that's kind of, I just, that, that was my world. And, and mm. I, I eventually just came out of it and said, you know what, after reading this book a couple times and, um, looking at stuff and then of course finding discovering people on on, on youtube obviously that helped um so it, it just it, it, it's there's so many shades of gray i i just don't know exactly what shade it was where i ev eventually had the uh the epiphany and i said I i'm done with this I'm, I'm i'm just done oh okay my next question here is you do you you did some very very interesting videos and I I like them very much. Uh, what inspired you to do the videos? Is there anybody that's that you like out there on YouTube that you find inspiring that maybe you know? Oh, like there, there there are a lot of people out there. Um, okay, but but to your first question, um, if you could say 
give me the description of, of a specific video, and I can more than likely then just tell you, oh, I, I can tell you where that came from. Well, the, the one you did, the other version of the walking in the sand one, obviously, I, I that's probably footprints. the walking in the sand. Is, yeah, the footprints one, yeah. Did that take very long to come up with the, the, the reverse version of that? or No, no, that came pretty quick it was just like like one of those deals like why hasn't anybody else done this and and brett palm is still on here but he has actually done a video very similar to what i've done but he did mm. it with the with the uh the holocaust he mm. he basically took it in that direction um but with me it just it came down to um i always hated that poem because i always thought it again just bullshit i, I just thought it was just um, I, I believe, and I could be wrong, I think there were two authors to this supposed poem. Um, I, it's, it's up there. You can, anybody can go to YouTube and find it and, and find the different versions of this thing. But I just said, this is just so wrong. And let me just go ahead and just address it. And, and that's what I tried to do. So, and hopefully I did it correctly. Okay. No, you did. I, I liked it. I liked the way you did it. You, you, you brought it all together, which brings me to my next question there. How do you produce the videos that you created? You, you got some, some nice transitions in there and the words come out just, just nicely. I mean, it's, it's done very professionally, although you and I've had the discussion for the last few weeks that, and you kind of got ripped on by, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Here by it comes. by by Bob Smearfact. <laughs> yes, he, yes, he says that he doesn't even own a cell phone. So yeah, like, <laughs> yeah he writes on me, and I, I give I give the guy credit. He's one of those guys. That's a whole story into a cell phone, but it's just um, um, the way I met him, and we actually started t actually talking on the phone. But um, he does make fun of me because I literally do all my videos on um, uh, Windows Movie Maker. Or, um, uh, oh, what is it? It's the, uh, and I actually hijacked this, or what do you call it? Uh, I got it for free through uh, um, discovering religion. Me and him used to yak all the time, but, but um, uh, it's uh, Pinnacle. Mm -hmm. well, so Pinnacle. basically what I'll do is I'll, I'll do part of it in a Windows Movie Maker, and then I'll do part in um, Pinnacle. But, okay, but initially I started with just doing uh, Windows Movie Maker kind of thing. Well, so. you're, you're, everybody's got to have a good starting point. I mean, I I use for a long time I used uh, just iMovie on on my Mac here, and then I've got Final Cut Pro on top of that too. So you know, it it's all I, it's all a matter of the tools you have to use. Yeah, exactly. And I I, I, I keep it simple. And like you said, um, and Bob does make fun of me, like mm -hmm. John, dude. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, it's like, well, at least I'm doing something. Right. <laughs> I just, I was just reading uh, C, C. Walker's oh, oh, Discovering Religion. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, Discovering Religion. I used to, we used to yak quite a bit. Um, and he actually, his videos to me, which I always uh, yak at him about, because they look so professional. I mean, they look like to me documentaries kind mm -hmm. of thing, kind kind of deal. But he's like, yeah, John, just just go. I'm going to give you. How, I'm, I'm going to tell you how to pirate this this software and just take it for free and just have at it. You know, and, and Packer like, pokes okay. that does not just just as a just as a uh, general su just I, a I, general just, statement. Pack, just disclaimer just a, just a, Packer, Packer pokes that disclaimer. <laughs> general Packer pokes that does not endorse uh, stealing piracy, stealing software. Please pay. For, please pay for your programs. But if you don't use torrent or 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 pirate bay um, unless it's after show or in the chat room where we actually advocate the stealing of software uh, <laughs> yeah, but, it, and mom's the word mom's the word mom's except the for all word. the recording stuff that we've been doing uh, <laughs> uh how did you get into making youtube videos and was there a particular youtuber that you were watching and said you know i should do this or they said hey john you no, should do no, this as a matter of fact I, it was the opposite for me because i i got discouraged i i would look at people like uh thunderfoot or or, or arn raw mm-hmm and um, or like I said, discovering religion, or even Brett Palmer. You know, uh, it just—it's like I look at that. I look at the work they actually do from beginning to end, and like I just feel like I can't do that. I can't do that. 
So I got to the point where I just decided to go just with my creative flow mm -hmm. and, and just um, and just start from scratch and just say, okay, I'm not going to compare myself to anybody else. I'm just going to put out what I want to put out there, and I'm just going to go with it. And if it looks like shit, it looks like shit. If it sounds good, it sounds good. If it sounds crappy, it sounds crappy. You know. Mm. Um, and so that's kind of kind of where that came from. I. As a matter of fact, um, I'm still working on the very first video I ever did. Well, that's not true. It's actually I think it's the second video, okay. but I'm I'm reworking it. I'm I'm going to revamp it and and bring it back up after four years because I am, as we as we speak, I'm I'm working on a, another video that has to do with another younger th asshole creationist. Oh, but I, I need to kind of lead in. You know, like I need to. This video ends with this new asshole, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go, you know, mm. with it. Well, speaking of uh, assholes and and previous uh, <laughs> people there, uh, you used to you you beat up on this one guy, Guinea Piggy Man. Guinea Piggy Man. And that one's not on your channel anymore, but there's it, there's lots of mirrors out there of it, and yeah. that one is just hilarious. And you broke it down and. What kind of things he claimed to have had, you know, the PhDs or whatever, and he had like PhD in this, PhD in that, and he would have basically had it started before he was about two years, two or four yeah. years before he was born to have. Yeah, he was an been, asshole. Yeah. Uh, bottom line, I mean, literally, like you pucker it up and get it nice and fist fucked. You know, it's like <laughs> that's, that's his sphincter muscle right there. Boom. You know, just look right up there into his rectum. He. he that guy was an asshole, and I've never met on YouTube, in my whole experience on YouTube, anybody who's had literally 30 channels. And, and this guy somehow just kept popping them out, popping them out, and he was trolling me left and right. Jesus Christ. And so I, I eventually just had to, and it was like a progress, you know, um, how it worked, how I, I would see him saying stuff like, uh, you know, he claiming that he was a geologist, and then and the next thing I see, he's like, <laughs> you know, claiming he's a paleontologist, and, and uh, or, or he he could read hydro, hydro uh, uh, not hydro. Okay, no, right, not gonna sound like an asshole. Um, <laughs> That's all right. I was I was the asshole hydro, earlier today. Hydroglyphics. Hydroglyphics. Right there, you go. <laughs> it was basically just like. You know, yeah, I can read this stuff because I'm an Egyptologist, and and it's like, who the fuck is this asshole? Who just won't <laughs> leave me alone, you know? And it's like, god damn it! And eventually, I just called him a spade. I called a spade a spade, and just by just by chance, just by weird freak chance, mm -hmm. um, this is about the same time that I got to know um, uh, a DPR Jones, and um, when he basically when when Guinea Piggy Man. Um, flagged my video, and he's flagged a couple of mine. And let me make that clear. He, um, he just goes out of his way to do that shit, you know. Yeah, there's but, a lot of people but, that do that stuff. They claim that we're the ones doing it to them, but they're the ones that's doing it to you know atheist channels. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm 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 sounding a little distracted here. I'm looking at Sea Walker. He's saying, like, yeah, oh, hydroglyphics. Hydroglyphics. <laughs> <laughs> it's that. Yeah, it's exactly. the. It's the writing in the water. <laughs> like, okay. It's the. It's the writing in the water. I just want to read. I just read some here. Yeah, Brett Palmer. Let me, let me just drop some some words down in a toilet bowl. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just Brett, go with it. <laughs> Brett Palmer said that the uh, guinea piggy man there. He was the love child of Nephilim Three and Jason Burns. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I've dealt with both of those assholes too, especially Jason Burns. Uh, uh. But at, at some point, I just gave up on the. Um, there's a certain crew, crew I, I I I affectionately call the assholes. I just want to put on a, a, a deserted island somewhere. <laughs> and and Jason Burns and there's like G Man and there's uh, oh I've, I I uh, haven't dealt with G Man oh, directly. On and on. Um, I, I just want I just want to say fuck you guys just get the fuck just go away just, please just go away <laughs> right <laughs> um yeah I mean now I'm getting a little sidetracked here but that's okay anywho um, um I I do have another couple more questions here uh, okay what is one of the best video channels out there you've seen on YouTube you know besides you know packed and pokes at <laughs> Loaded question. Well, well, first of all, there's Packard Pokes at. Yay! He likes us. You like us. He really likes us. No. The best channel on YouTube, Fishhead Salad. Best ever. 
Best ever. You got to put that four letter word in there. Best, Best ever, ever channel. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I, I literally, when I started doing my, my stuff and I started meeting people and I know, you know, Packard, you know, I, we joke about this and, mm-hmm. and, you know, I talk to people on the phone. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He has this thing called a phone. <laughs> it's yeah, a real no, no. it's on the wall it's like it's, attached it's to the house wall phone. it's a house yeah, phone it's, it's the dinosaur phone. I'm, I'm not gonna live that one down <laughs> <laughs> but but the but the but the bottom line is i i do actually uh enjoy talking to people on the phone um and uh, 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 to, to answer your question mm-hmm. um when i first started actually getting people who were listening to me mm-hmm. or watching my videos or, you know, kind of thing. When I saw that, like the subscription level going up and up, um, I, I, at that point I even said to myself, I, you know, if I want to keep it kind of small, I want to keep like 60 people, maybe 60 tops, mm-hmm. um, as people I subscribe to. Um, and what I'm finding is just as time goes on, there are just people that I, I can't do that. I mean, I, I just, there are certain people out there I don't really have favorites. I, I kind of do, but I. There are some people I just like. I look at some somebody out there who has maybe I don't know six subscribers or something like that, and made two videos. And if I look at the videos and I like them, I'll subscribe to the guy yeah, or, that, or the girl, you know, or the woman. You know, it, it just I don't really. I mean, as short as somebody, I don't, I don't really care how many subscribers somebody has for me to subscribe to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just prefer, I, I know what I like, and I follow what I like, bottom line. So. Oh, no, that, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I guess I, have... I could have just said that one sentence to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> We're breaking you in very gently here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. My cherry is still kind of intact. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, by the time we get to Dave, it, it, count that cherry gone. Uh, <laughs> okay. He's good for breaking that cherry. I tend to do that. He oh, does. <laughs> what do you do outside of YouTube for like? What do you do in the real world? Like, what do you real mean? life. Yeah, in real life, um, there's a you know, the, you know, there's, there's this thing out there called life away from the desk, and the computers like I, 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 I looked out, so I've looked out the window, I see these people walking around, like, what are you doing out there? You know, but I don't like the daylight myself. Yeah. I, I don't prefer it. <laughs> oh, got a, got ourselves a vampire. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, so what do you um, do outside there? I mean, or what do you do outside? Of, you know, from YouTube. Well, you know, oddly enough, when I got my. Uh, I, when I got my degree in college, I, 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 as soon as I graduated, very first thing I did is I started bartending at a nightclub. Oh. Um, actually using, you know, I was like, I want to say four years of college. It's more like the John Belushi thing, like seven years of college down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> because it took me seven years just to get a four-year degree. Uh, but, um. Uh, I hey, up, th- um, nowadays they congratulate you for that. They call it less than a decade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, high five, high five, high five. <laughs> and um, Toga uh, party. I never, I never ended up doing anything with a degree short of my my stint with um, CBN. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, beyond that, uh, it, what I do to answer your question point blank, uh, what I do now for a living is I have my own company and I do um, uh, repair and maintenance works for uh, about 40, about 40, 45 different uh, Hardee's uh, restaurants. Oh, okay. Um, and that's kind of, I mean, it, it's just great for me to work my own schedule and just do do that. Um, but before that, I actually had to do the uh, the white collar job and, and do the stuff for CBN and, ah. um, you know. So you're, um, so you're the I, guy... There's, there, there's a little nepotism going on there. Let me add that in there. I'm not gonna lie to anybody, but, you know. So um, you're you're the guy that comes along. Hey, the fry later's down. We need the, we need to we need to get John over here to fix the fry later, and the, the cooker is is not toasting the buns, or right? Yeah, you know those fry later's. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're they're just hell to work with. <laughs> Connie in the chat room says she goes toga party. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, wait. Okay, okay, here. here. <laughs> 
dyslexic who took a goat to a to, oh jeez no no I didn't hear about that one oh your uh, dog Dawkins dog's good for jokes you you get pwned to the chat room he'll he'll pwn you uh, all right I have one quick one more quick question that okay. that video that you did about the girl who gets killed and then she gets the up, Jewish girl yeah the Jewish girl right that video mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. what inspired you to do that video that's an awesome video I mean I, I haven't I showed that to one of my Christian friends he's like he really didn't. He he really had nothing to say because he he couldn't refute it at all. It was one. Uh, it was one of those deals where um and 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 I've got uh, um uh, um living dinosaur a long time ago. He said, John, I want to give you uh, a shout out, but you don't make enough videos. And I wrote him back, and me and him became pals. Mm -hmm. uh, long story short. And uh, but one thing he was right about because I don't really put out a lot of videos. Um, that specific one, um, there were there were actually there were about um, there were three videos that I, I just felt like I had to do, mm -hmm. and that was that was one of them. And there's a lot of stuff behind that, but it came down to just basically just saying to myself or arguing in myself in my head and like. Uh, all right, uh, why, why do Jewish people have to go to hell? Why, according to according if you believe in in the Christ system, you know, kind of thing, right. if you believe in Christianity or, um, okay, why, um, th this girl, who is within an age group, who, um, um, she was brought up, not believing in Christ, not being dog um, indoctrinated into a belief system. And yet, so for some reason, she, according to Christians, um, is, you know, bound to go to hell and just suffer for eternity because she loved her God, mm -hmm. but just not the right one. Yeah, she she just did not believe the Son, and that believe in the Son, I should say, and that is the part that just just irked me to no end, and I just had to make that video. All right. So that that's kind of where that came from. Okay, the, you know that that is it's a powerful video. If you have not seen that one. Go to his channel and watch that video. It, it is it is something spectacular to see. Okay, well, I appreciate uh, that, and I made that off of a you know a Windows Movie Maker, by the well, way. You, you, <laughs> well, you did a good job. I mean, I couldn't tell. You must be a wizard with Movie Maker because that. Well, there's this old Mac commercials like they have this guy come out. It says, "I made this in an iMovie," and then this guy comes out in, a, in drag. He says, "I made this on Windows Movie Maker," and <laughs> so I was like, "You, you, you put some, you, you actually put the final touches on it, made it look really, really well." Uh, well, what I do to begin with, I, I know we got to go here, but it's just um, what I do um, is, is I create like every frame. I, I create those in PowerPoint. Oh, okay, so. That that there you go. That's exactly there is. So then I then I punch that into the other thing, put a soundtrack in, put mm. you know my voice, and then I put a little reverb on my voice, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, kind of thing. And that's kind of where the whole creation or creative part comes from. Oh, okay, very good, very good. Well, I'm going to take off the gloves now, and we're going to turn the <laughs> the uh, turn it over to my co-host there, Joe. Do you have any questions for John? Yeah, I was um, very impressed with your footprints video. I watched it a few times. It's great. I haven't seen the Jewish girl video, but I did go through like some of your playlists and I watched the uh, clown shoes mirror and uh, I saw the cave painting video, which was really good. But uh, well, that's I think when footprints... I'm, I'm redoing the way I am. I'm... Oh, that's, that's one of the ones you're redoing? I'm, I'm reworking as we speak. I was hoping to have yeah. it done before tonight, but. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm that, sorry. I didn't that's a good video. Off. That's a good video. I apologize. Anyway, I think I think the footprints video I think is probably the crown jewel of your channel. Like it's that's that good. Mm -hmm. But um. Well, anyway, so, thank you for that. I that actually oh, that was yeah. kind of my um. Be honest with that. That that was kind of my hope. Was that going to be that was going to be my swan song, so to speak? My my. <laughs> this is the one they'll remember me by because it took for <laughs> to do it. I mean, the color you look at it just took me forever to do and uh it, I, I just appreciate it so thank you very much for saying that oh, yeah no problem yeah I, I love it i know a lot of online atheists sometimes fizzle out you know they go 
hard and heavy for a little while and it's like uh. so what's your inspiration what's your drive what's your spark to keep going um it just comes it's a guttural thing i guess okay my one real question for you is are you looking forward to the noah movie next week and are you planning to do a movie a video about it god i why is it i feel like there's an echo um no but i, <laughs> I appreciate you uh reposting the same um um uh, question and and let me ask you a question. Uh, it's 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 because we didn't hear your answer. That's right. I understand. I understand. I, I'm, I'm making fun of myself. Not oh. you. I'm making, fun of myself, <laughs> making fun of myself uh, because my earplug fell out and then suddenly I got you know Packard saying, uh, "Oh, John, John, you there?" <laughs> um, but uh, to answer your question, um, no, I'm not going to address it just because I've seen the trailer and the trailer is just so full of bullshit. It's got absolutely nothing to do with. Uh, uh, chapter six, seven, or eight, uh, a Genesis. It's absolutely nothing. Uh, even uh, let me l- let alone that the New Testament. It's got absolutely nothing to do with with Noah. I mean, when he's like shoving this uh, this this rod, you know, like like Moses, you know, like uh, and, mm-hmm. and Noah obviously wasn't Moses. And he's shoving it in the ground, and suddenly like this big wall of fire just goes out across the ground. Um, and and then the the town people around him are like. We need to get on that ark to get on there. <laughs> okay, uh, where is that in the Bible? Uh, right. So it, it's just those those scenes right there that just alone just made me say, I don't think I need to watch this. Uh, <laughs> so I, I I just really have no interest in it. You know, let let Hollywood spend their money and do what they want, and you know, pay pay Russell Crowe whatever they're paying him, and right. you know, is what it is. Okay. I the way I heard it was the reason why they they add a lot of stuff there because if they did the movie by the way it's in the bible they they would be it would be a 10 minute movie and it's like they'd, ha- they'd have <laughs> exactly. they'd have a, they'd have 20 <laughs> mi- they'd have an hour worth of intermission and then a 20 minute movie then another hour of intermissions at the yeah. end of yeah. it they're, it's a they're very basically short story. making a two hour movie out of literally three chapters in in genesis plus um uh i, I think it's uh oh, god i can't look i'm drawing a blank here but it's in Peter, it's, I mean, there's a couple, just a couple sentences mm-hmm. about about Noah in the New Testament. Uh, so it's just one of those deals. It's like, are, are you serious? Are you really going to make a two-hour movie based on all special effects and ta-da moments mm-hmm. over three ch- chapters in Genesis, which have absolutely nothing to do with what you're making your movie about? Right. Like, yeah, it's I'm gonna a, just put it down to three set, no, three words. Well, you know, well, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> <laughs> if if it makes any any difference, it's uh, written and directed by an atheist who says that he intends for it to be the least biblical biblical movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can say about that is bully for him. Yeah. Uh, it just it just yeah. The Christians <laughs> are already pissing and moaning like eh, this is gonna be disinformation. They're they won't believe us now. It's like <laughs> oh please, they're gonna drag the kids in there and be like, this is what it was like. Yeah, some of them will be. It's already I'm still been waiting for this this Jesus movie thing. And it's right. like I, it's already been released, but it's you know like the <laughs> son of God. I'm already I'm already snickering about that one. Like uh, really? Uh, okay. <laughs> Yet what, another Jesus movie. What can movie. you do that hasn't? I think Mel Gibson kind of got it. I mean, he he got the whole right. gist of it, and and he right. basically made that whole thing just so. Um, uh, he, he he basically attached more emotion to anything that's ever been done in the Jesus story as far as his, how, um, according to the Bible, he was, um, uh, butchered basically. So I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering how this, this new movie and, and of course it's, it's a, another good looking Jesus, you know, like, you know, he's actually a hot looking guy, you know, it well, was, well, yeah, that's, I'd fuck him. That, that, yeah, exactly. That's his story. <laughs> Yeah, Kilby's yeah. in the chat room says my dad, the preacher, said it's not like there was a day to day journal of the Noah story. So they had a lot to be able to do with, obviously. They like <laughs> we got a lot of leeway here. There's no journal, so well, let's just throw in a yeah. bunch of shit that doesn't may may or may not have happened. We don't know. Yeah, day two hundred and fifty six still at first and that first and just kind of just make shit up. You know? <laughs> let's right. have a little boardroom meeting and like, what do you guys think we should fill in here? You know? Let's we'll just have fun. I, I know they should put in lots of l- uh, Let's talk cats. about the kangaroos. Yeah, the kangaroos. Let's go to talk the to the kangaroos. Bears. We'll take a cat and go, come here. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we take the cat and stick the kangaroo pouch. Uh, let's, that'll be fun. Well, I, 
I had read that Aronofsky had dreamed of of putting Noah on the big screen since he was uh, a kid, and uh, and when he brought it to the studios, they were like, "Ah, you're crazy." And then when he actually started doing it, they showed it to some uh, religious groups, and they had issues with it, and they tried to pressure him to change the movie, and he fought back. And then finally, they were like, "All right, fine, whatever. You can do what you want." <laughs> So we're going to get the Noah movie that we deserve. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to be in the I'm going to be on the front row opening night. I don't care. Hey, I'm, I'm reading the uh, I would get in the middle row. Get get in the middle because this way you don't crick your neck because if you you're sitting there you have to look at a real at at a, at a 45 degree angle you're going to go, "Oh man, I got a neck ache. See what Noah did to my <laughs> neck?" You're such an old man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell, I was getting that way when I was a kid going to the movies. Like, I'll get the front row. Fuck, this oh, sucks. Oh, and the, and, uh, the, the other funny part about the Noah movie, uh, 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 to me, uh, just another classic, is um, they put uh, uh, Anthony Hopkins, mm -hmm. correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. He's in the movie as one of those town guys who's like, put me on this fucking ark because you know like these these <laughs> angry town people who just think they need to get on the ark and yet they they make him up i mean he's 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 older obviously but they make him look like he's old as shit and yet noah played by russell crowe is supposed to be 600 years old <laughs> he, he, yep. and, he's and drinking yet, no he's still he's a good looking guy he's a good looking guy <laughs> like okay, he, he, he must be drinking. He must have that drinking uh, the uh, fountain of youth thing in his in his back <laughs> pocket, you know, with his yeah. wine and shit. So I, I tell you what, I'm going to turn the questions over. If Joe has no more, no, I'm done. Okay, Dave's turn. All right, Dave. No, uh, did no, I answer uh, Joe? Did I answer your questions? By the way. Did... Oh yeah, yeah, great. Thanks. Okay, okay, okay. Just want to make sure. Okay, we're gonna turn now. Now here comes the the real cherry popper. We're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna... Oh God. <laughs> we're gonna turn the questions over to Dave. Here Prepare comes the your big time one. In. So you talked about losing your faith, or, or that you didn't necessarily have a lot of faith to begin with. Is there any catalyst that made you decide that you wanted to speak out against religion, so and, and advocate reason? And uh, beyond that, is there an issue that you take that's specific that upsets you about religion? Um, as far as your last question, um, thing about that upsets me the most about religion is basically that is bullshit. Um, and I don't care if you're if you're Jewish, uh, or or you know, pick and choose any any Christian faith, uh, or or Muslim or whatever. I, there's just I just don't believe in magic. Bottom line. Bottom line. Uh, as far as um, was there a catalyst? I, no, not really. I just kind of it's just been things brewing, so to speak, and I eventually was able to get. Um, familiar with with uh, YouTube, um, just by chance. It was one of those you know things that just I, I didn't I didn't ever say to myself, uh, you don't get on YouTube. <laughs> I just it just never happened that way, and it just it just kind of I don't want to say festered because that's the wrong word. It's um, it just kind of kind of grew to the point where I just said I I, I need to express myself, hmm. and and somehow I have access to this. And this all kind of comes back to what I was doing for um, uh, CBN and, and uh, the Family Channel and what have you, where I was actually doing artsy fartsy kind of stuff. And I thought, you know what? Let me just go ahead and use the you know the the little talents that I have, and and just maybe each little increment, each little piece, I can kind of add together to to start making videos to express the way I feel. All right. Did you have any other questions, Dave? No. I mean, I I think that you guys pretty much covered all of them that uh, that I was going to ask. So, okay. All right, very good. All right. Well, uh John, I want to thank you so much for uh coming out here and spending some time with us and, you know, answering our inane questions and <laughs> Yeah, thanks, I wouldn't man. call it inane, but uh it, um obviously the the uh it's uh, uh back at you. I mean, I appreciate you putting up the time to deal with me and Oh no Walk, problem! Uh, baby stepping me through this whole thing over and over on the phone. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, kind of <laughs> lots <thing>. of calls. <laughs> yes, exactly. On the exactly. phone. 
Oh God! <laughs> I, I just like I the way I'm he's always going to. Re- <laughs> my biggest, you know, uh, thing in life will be I will always re- be remembered as the guy on on YouTube who had to answer Bob Smearfax saying on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it is something it, it's just it, it, in this day and age it's hard to it, it, it's hard to realize that there's people out there who just have just cell phone or don't have cell phones you know because you just have just a phone but <laughs> <laughs> i get it i get it <laughs> <laughs> all right well you I'm... are <laughs> oh go ahead go ahead okay all right well john you of course you're always welcome to come back to the the show again uh anytime you come come chat with us and everything like that and uh in and when we will get you on on the show again uh later on down the road so uh, sounds good uh dan joe um good good talking to you guys too um yeah uh, absolutely thank you so i appreciate everything that you you guys have actually done as well. So I mean, so um, definitely did not want to leave you out of the equation. I feel very privileged to be on the show tonight and to be able to yak with you guys. So okay, yeah, yeah, awesome, yeah, th- man. Thanks. Yeah, 